y'all welcome back to another vlog today for me is actually the very first day of uh, not spring of fall I actually had planned on having a nice fall video up today but it did not happen as you've been following everything was going on with Claire I just haven't been able to so today's Saturday I'm working on a video to get up tomorrow so that means for the last two weeks I've only had one video a week, but you know life gets in the way sometimes. So, so I just ran up the stairs, so I'm out of breath. I told Marion to, he's down there in the basement working on some projects and the he's got the saw and the shop vac and everything going. I said, give me two minutes, I gotta open my vlog. But welcome back, welcome if you're new. My name's Erica. Today I'm just gonna share with you a cozy fall day at home. It is Saturday, I did all my errands yesterday. If you missed that vlog, I'll link it above. But I was out doing all my grocery shopping and all my errands so that today I could stay home because I knew it was gonna be nasty outside. It is, I think it's tropical storm Ophelia coming through and it rained all night long and it's been raining all day today. And it hasn't been too bad, just some wind and rain, but it's supposed to be rainy all day. It's supposed to keep the temperature pretty low. It's gonna be in the 60s, so perfect first day of fall weather. I'm gonna make a big old pot of Wendy's copycat chili. I'll share that recipe with you. And I'm also gonna make a dessert that I have shared, but it's been years. I'm always getting new subscribers, so sometimes I reshare recipes that I haven't shared in a while. This is a favorite, it's so, so good. Perfect for the fall. I also have to do, have to make some brownies because Jackson has a small group tomorrow and I'm bringing food so I need to make those tonight I'm gonna be doing a lot of cleaning I just really planned on getting my cleaning done that I've neglected so I'm gonna do a lot in that of that in this video so some recipes some cleaning hopefully some motivation for you if you're looking for it but thank you for clicking on this video and hopefully hopefully this will motivate you inspire you to get up and get some things done at your own place It is currently five o'clock. This day has literally flown by, but I have been editing the video that I thought I wasn't gonna get up this week, but I went ahead and it's uploading now. So five o'clock, I'm hoping to have it up by seven. That's definitely a different upload time for me, but you know, I don't have any set upload time right now. So I figured it would be better to get that video out for you guys and you know dedicate the time to that so it's five o'clock i'm gonna go ahead and start dinner i am so hungry and this is gonna take a little while this uh i'll link this recipe down below and i think it says you're supposed to like simmer it for a couple hours i've never done it for a couple hours but i will try to simmer it for at least 30 minutes to an hour depending on how hungry we are so i'm gonna get everything out and then i'll show you all the ingredients also the changes that i like to make to it but right now i've got to switch over laundry and keep that going Okay, so if you've ever had Wendy's chili, if you're like me, you know it's delicious. It's my favorite chili, and I shared this this time last year on my channel, so you may have seen this before. You may not have. Um, I don't know if you've ever tried it, but it is so good, and it is so, so, so close to the Wendy's chili that you can buy. So I tweak the recipe always to make it my own, so I will link it down below, but I'm gonna tell you a few of the things that I do different is, it calls for one, uh, well this is, it calls for two bell peppers, but I'm cutting it in half so it would be one, but I'm gonna go ahead and put two, a whole onion, I think it would be one stalk of celery, but I'm gonna put two. And fun fact, I hate celery when it's raw, but when it's cooked, I love it. So interesting, <laughs> but anyway, I like to hide veggies in my dishes because you know, it's healthier. Um, it calls for tomato sauce. I like to use the roasted garlic. This is my favorite one. And then just diced tomatoes. And I got the fire roasted garlic diced tomatoes. 
Uh, so it says kidney beans and pinto beans, I believe, but I just like to use these tricolor beans. They have kidney, pinto, and black beans, so I just use both of those with the juices. You do not drain them. I put a little butter in at the end, some salt, pepper, cumin, and chili powder, and I think you use like a fourth of a cup in the full recipe, so I'll use like an eighth of a cup, and then I forget the measurements of these, but it'll all be linked down below. Also, I will add water, and obviously I do have ground beef, so this is one pound of ground beef, and I love this recipe because you literally just dump everything in and let it simmer for as long as you want. So the hardest part about making this is just chopping up all the vegetables because once you get everything in the pan it just has to simmer and all the hard work's done. So I'm going to go ahead and let these cook down just a little bit, finish cooking the meat before I add the rest of the stuff. Okay, so for dessert tonight, we're going to have what we call chew bread. I have shared this before. Like I said, I'll go ahead and type the recipe down below for you if you're interested. But there's literally only five ingredients. And this is something that my sister-in-law gave me like 15 years ago. She gave me this recipe. I think it may be called other things. I think I've seen similar recipes. It's kind of like a blondie. But the main ingredient here is brown sugar. And it gives it so much rich flavor. And it's so simple. And you would not believe how delicious this is. It's the perfect chewiness. It is so good. It's only a stick of butter. You need one and a half cups of walnuts. I'm going to just use this. It says two cups and I used it for a little bit for something. So we'll just use the whole thing. But you probably could put whatever nuts you wanted in it. If you, know, if you don't like nuts, you don't have to put them in it. And you could probably put like chocolate chips. That might be good too. They make everything better. Um, flour, lots of brown sugar. I think it's three cuts of brown sugar and then three eggs. That's it. You mix it together and pop it in the oven at 350 for 25 minutes. And it is, I'm telling you, this is so good. If you're looking for a new recipe, if you've not tried this before, you've got to try it. It's so good. I'm going to melt my butter in the microwave. Okay, so like I've been telling you, I'm gonna be making some brownies for Jackson's small group party tomorrow. So I just like to use Pillsbury 
I've always used Pillsbury. I love it. Um, and it, this is the chocolate fudge, just the only one they had, so that's why I got it. it. Doesn't matter which kind, but I will share my brownie recipe again with you. I've shared it before, but if you if you've not seen it um, or if you've not tried it, it is so 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 good and so easy. Just take a box brownie mix, and then for each box, add one packet of hot cocoa mix, and you can do the ones with marshmallows or not. Doesn't matter. Um, so I'm doing two boxes of two of these, and then I replace the milk, the water with milk instead of the water, and then I add chocolate chips, and they are delicious. Everyone always tells me they're so good. People re request that I bring these to function, so try it if you haven't tried it. Chili is looking so good and smelling so good. When this is done, I'm going to grate up some cheddar cheese. I, I'm not making any cornbread because I'm making the chew bread. Uh, at Wendy's, they put they give you onions if you want it. So just and then saltine crackers. We have some club crackers. We might dip in it, but just a bowl of this with cheese on top is how I like to eat it. And it's still raining, still pouring down rain, and. Cold. I had to shut my doors. It was too cold to keep them open. We've had a few, few gusts of wind, but nothing too bad. Just, just a typical. <laughs> feels like the perfect fall day, actually. You want to come out? No, you don't want to come out. I got to get this house cleaned up after dinner. I'm gonna uh, clean everything up. There's my sweet Claire Bear, still with us. She's having a pretty good day today. She still doesn't want to eat a whole lot, but she definitely comes in every time I come in the kitchen. She comes with me, and I try to offer her food, and every now and then she'll she'll eat a little bit, but, you know, that's why we're syringe feeding her. Just make sure she gets enough. If you didn't watch my last video, go back and watch that. I did explain everything that's going on with her, um, so... Yeah, that'll fill you in. There's just a lot more going on too, but we just, uh, I just shared, you know, the basics. So, but she's still here. She's still doing good. She's having a good day. So, like I said in that video, every good day, I am so, every day that she's here with us, I'm grateful for. Alright, that chili was amazing. Tastes just like Wendy's. If you like Wendy's chili, you gotta try it. It's literally the exact same. And if you've never had Wendy's chili, try it because it's it's my favorite chili. So it was delicious. I even had a piece of chew bread. It's chew bread is best when it's completely cooled, but I didn't want to wait. And I have so much to do, so I enjoyed my little break. But this is what my sink looks like right now. Um, I've got stuff everywhere. I actually decided that tomorrow for Jackson's thing I'm gonna send the brownies and the chew bread that way I don't eat it all or you know like half brownies and half. it's kind of like a blondie I guess but I don't know I've never had a blondie it just has that like rich brown sugar flavor it is so good and the walnuts oh so good um, but also I'm gonna be doing some more cleaning around the house I'm gonna do my floors probably gonna wipe down the bathroom I don't know I need to keep the laundry going I'll be doing that all weekend. No, that's not going to get finished tonight. I've got multiple loads still to do. So, um, but it is dark now. It's like 740. It gets dark earlier and earlier, but I still hear the rain. Still pouring down rain. So it was just that kind of day, but let's get some cleaning done.
It gets stuck, and so if I don't, if I don't make sure it's unstuck before I turn the water off. When I turn the water on, I get a shower. So I just got a shower. Everyone needs a shoulder to cry on. Everyone needs a helping hand. Everyone needs someone to rely on. Yes, everyone needs a friend So let's come together Celebrate each other Stand united as one We lift our hands up and pray Lay all our love before Him with all of our faith He is the change within us there our hands up and pray today oh pray everyone needs somebody to lean on everyone needs someone who cares if we come together as one help each other get stronger Bound in the name of the Lord So let's come together Celebrate each other Stand united as one We lift our hands up and pray Lay all our love before Him With all of our faith He is the change within us there 
sing As you wake up my soul today I feel the hope when your sun shines on my face Oh, I wake up with your grace While the moonlight still fading away I see your mercy coming with the day Oh And you know my every need Oh, you see my hopes and dreams But you have in store far better things My future comes alive when you're leading me I 
to mop real quick and then that's gonna be it I'm gonna use actually I'm gonna use my spin mop tonight I'm not using my other one that vacuums and mops at the same time and then I bought this at Walmart in my last grocery haul it's mr. clean with unstoppables and they smell so good so I saw a video where a girl actually washed her walls with that and her floor she said it makes your house smell amazing my back is not gonna let me wash my walls tonight. <laughs> that is not happening. But I bought it because I do wanna do that at some point. But I'm gonna go ahead and mop. But I'm gonna say goodbye right now. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that this gave you all all the cleaning motivation you needed. We all need it. We all get stuck and unmotivated and don't wanna do anything. Today would have been the perfect day to sit in my chair and do nothing, but there was too many things to get done. So it's gonna be good. Tomorrow I'm gonna be glad I did this today. So. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. I appreciate you so much for coming back and I will see you all in my next one. Bye-bye. When I was lost and hopeless When I was at my worst it's grace that you extended That I did not deserve I am so amazed by Took what I deserve